Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Neo Scavenger. We are here back in the old Detroit area, heading towards the DMC itself. Um, let's see, last episode we actually did a lot of good stuff. We went to the ATN camp, but we actually kind of turned a run around. We actually got our illness kind of being looked at now, so even though it's still, it says we're still sick, obviously, we're still on the upswing. Remember, we are kind of in the red before, so now we're in the yellow, and it's still going up. We have... This um, sweet ATN code over here, we have some gloves going on. We're missing a shoe, unfortunately, but we actually have a few extra bags now. We actually even have a duffel bag. So we have a regular backpack, a duffel bag, we have a trav wall, and we do have crowbar and the old penis club over here, too. We also found this over here, which I'm upset about that we found because I can't carry this. I was hoping I could attach a string to it or like a strap and just kind of pull it along, kind of like a trav wall, but no. You can't do that, unfortunately. It's not, I tried a bit off camera and it wasn't working for me. And if you put it straight up into the vehicle part, it's going to encumber you severely. So we're going to be able to move like one step at a time. So it's really not beneficial, especially because we are moving only at three because we're barefoot, unfortunately. Blisters on foot is also a problem. How do you get rid of the blisters on foot, by the way? I don't think I've ever really found a way to do that. Maybe a DMC? Their medical facility, which would cost me like an arm and a leg to actually do. I don't know, I hate the fact that we have blisters because, you know, even if we get the other shoe, we're still not going to be moving at five pieces of, you know, five feet every single time. Or not, I guess, five feet, but five hexes. We're only going to move only three or four at the most, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let's actually continue going forward then. We tried our best, but there's just no way to actually make this happen. Anything else to scavenge here? There is. So, let's actually just scavenge this before we do leave. Maybe, with any luck, we'll find every other piece required to make the... Oh, yes, dog. Alrighty, thank you so much. So we're up to four now. There's going to be blisters in our foot. So again, we're not going to move at five. But hey, at least it's four, and I'll take it. So I'm happy about that. <clears throat> Let's see about stacking these guys up to ten. Ooh, perfect. So we have a few extra rags to clean up over here in case we get some more injuries. We're going to definitely take the string because it's always important. I'm not going to worry about the quality too much unless we're actually crafting something. And we want more bottles to definitely carry for more water down the line. And that's about it, right? Yeah, I would say. So I don't think I need this just yet. But since I have the empty space, I will take it. For now. <clears throat> okay. So. I think there's one more area over here to scavenge before we actually start booking it. So we'll use this and this. And let's find out over here. Oh, we got some more interesting stuff. Hey, now we're finding all the right shoes in the world, right? And we have a water tester. Conditions about to break down. No uses, so it's kind of worthless. This is $16. Eh. If we could sell it at the DMC black market, then sure, we'll take it for there. And everything else seems pretty good. Oh, string, yeah. We definitely want to take string. We haven't found any or many mechanical parts, have we? That's going to be pretty important, too, if we ever want to make this. Not anytime soon, obviously, because I'm still missing the frame, the wheels, and the mechanical parts to make it happen. But I was hoping that somewhere down the line we'd be able to do it. Now, one thing I should really consider doing is because we do have a free hand, we might as well make the broad spear now. We're tired as well, so we should probably think about getting some rest kind of soon. I don't want to get rest over here because this guy could be trouble for us, so... Let's move over here and try to find a better location. Oh, this guy just popped up out of nowhere, too. My clean rags fell apart. Okay, so we're gonna cover this up now. I guess I'll just leave you behind. Alright, so we have four moves to kind of mess around with here. Who knows who this guy is that I really don't want to test the water, so let's just kind of run... There's a feral dog over there. Dogman, run away. This isn't between me and you. And we have some water over here. Also, we could probably get some rest here or here. We'll see which one. But we want to get some rest pretty soon because we are kind of getting tired. We're about to hit the weary status pretty soon. Um, Water could be ideal. So you know what? Let's um, at least get the water required. And we'll sanitize it down the line. And then one, two... Call it a turn here, and then we'll start scavenging and hopefully find a place that we could sleep here. Maybe even a story shed. Mechanical, or crowbar, this, and do we want to use the mechanic skill over here? I think we kind of do, just in case. Nothing was found. No surprise when you use mechanic skill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And nothing found here, too. That's fine. At least we could probably get some rest here. I'm getting kind of thirsty, too, so we should consider, you know what? This would be an ideal place to sleep and purify some water, right? So let's jump over here first and foremost and... Huh. Scrap of foil. Sure, I'll take it. Let's bring out some of this stuff here. We'll end our turn. Next turn, we'll just basically cause a friction fire. 
and purify some of this water too. So friction, make it happen. And then we'll go into, let's see here. Do we have the recipe for it or do I have to kind of make it myself here? No, sterilized water, three boiled. Perfect, confirm and clear. And we should be able to do that one more time, right? Well, at least for the extra one that we have there. Okay, so water has now been purified completely. Technically, it should be anyway. So that's tan and tea. This is only one purified water. Make that two purified water. And then you guys go back into your bottles there. Okay. So purified water. We're a little bit thirsty. So you know what? Let's actually chow down on some of this here. Bam, bam. Bam and bam. How's our meat doing? 27 conditions. So this actually has dropped down severely from 52. So remember, we got to eat this before it expires. Otherwise, you know, wasted money for nothing. And we're cool over here, so let's actually put out this fire not to draw any attention to us. That's good there, and then we'll go back over here and try to get some sleep, hopefully. Alrighty, so let's go into our cat menu. Ah, oh, no campsites, that's a damn shame. Alright, so you know what, we're gonna hold off until we can get to this little shack in the forest over here. Oh, there's a dude over here. It looks like he has a gun, too. He just dropped some shit, maybe, too. Man, there's a lot of people here. I'm not really, I'm, I'm really cautious about sleeping here because there's so many, like, so much activity happening right now. Okay, let's, um, let me hide my tracks here for once. Uh, doesn't really hurt, work too often for me, but let's try it out. Anything to sleep over here? Not quite. Maybe after I scavenge, though, shag in the forest, we'll check this out. Okay, we found left boot. Better condition than mine, so yeah, we'll take it. What I want to do too is um, actually carry this and sell it off at DMC. 33 bucks is actually not too bad. I don't care about that or that. Let's just break this stuff down if we can. This is actually pretty good. So I'm going to keep this. We might even put a string around it and put it around her neck. So it takes up less spots, right? Yeah, we can do that next turn though. So for now, let's just place you over here. I'll, I'll craft you soon. Oh, look, water purification tablets, a lot of them, 81 bucks. I'll definitely take that. And another lighter, which is always pretty decent to have. Okay, that's about it here. And our turn, I want these guys to just... Look, dog, go away. All right, don't come here. I'm busy. Another shack. These shacks are actually paying off pretty well, too. Most of the good stuff we've been finding, I've been happening, I've been... Happening, 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 happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all folks. I turned I turn into Perky Pig just there for a second. It happens on occasion, don't even worry about it too much. Um, you are $8. Eh, I guess I'll carry you along for now, but if we get overcumbered at some point, I will drop you off. No questions asked, and... Okay, let's see about sleeping here now. No. No decent shelter anywhere. Uh, this seems like a really bad idea, so I won't sleep here yet. We're getting tired though, so and it's getting kind of dark too, isn't it? It's evening now. Maybe we could sleep here or here though. So I think that for now, we just continue moving. Hope for the best over here. Let me hide my tracks along the way too, just that didn't work out. And my turn here, oh, there goes this guy. He seems to like, you know, monopol- he's, he's like monopolized his entire area over here apparently. Look dog, I mean, I just want to come in here and sleep. Okay, let me go over here instead then. Hopefully he'll decide to book it. Another shack in the forest, which is always good. Check this out. Ha ha ha! I'm loving the fact that I came here already. So now we have a gun too. Are you loaded? No, you're not loaded. I have a free hand though. Hmm. Oh, we never made the broad spear. That was actually an oversight on my part. We do want to get that broad spear because it does give us better range than the war club. Okay. Can I sleep here? No. Can't sleep here. Not enough. Not decent shelter anyway. Um, there's a forest here though, right? So I could technically consider making the broad spear now. So let's um, use this up here. Go into the crafting thing and go into known recipes and we're looking for weapon broad spear. Yeah, go ahead. 92 condition, I like it. Firm and clear, no more moves left to move, that's fine. I just wanted to get this weapon up and running. Broad spear stab, good. And now we end our turn. Feral dog, and we have a dude coming after me here, so let's just um take cover. I'm carrying a moderate load. That's because I'm wary now, so yeah, we're going to be moving even slower at this point. So I'm going to search and see. This has to be the guy that was next to us, right? 
Come on, man. Should I just do a blind retreat? Yeah, I guess I'll just do a blind retreat. It's a feral dog over here. Let's move out this way. Three moves. Okay. Let's just try to get the fuck... This area is just too... Too busy right now for me. And I want to get some rest, but... <clears throat> I'd rather do it in a place I'm going to be kind of comfortable with. Oh, God. Now it's dark. God damn it. Okay, so we have no choice but to move into darkness here. I don't even have a way to make a torch right now, either. Player's thirsty. I'm wary. Okay, here we go. We just found... Is that a shack in the forest? It could be. This could definitely... It is. Okay, so we could hopefully get some sleep here. We found... <laughs> a squirrel corpse. If we want to eat that. I guess that wouldn't be the worst idea, either. We have a shard to make it happen, too. We just need to make some fire. So, hey, you know what? Let's um pop this over here. Can I get some sleep over here? Yes, I can. A ruined bungalow. Okay. So, what's the course of action here? We rest first and then we do the cooking? I think so. So, we'll switch over to this and then we'll come over here. Place you into this area. So, we'll have alertness. Shelter pretty decent. And let's get some rest, man. If somebody comes around, we should be able to wake up anyway. And we'll get some water in us once we wake up, too. Our illness seems to be getting care of itself, too. And let's see. Player's carrying a moderate load. We also fatigue faster. That's because we're thirsty right now, so that's okay. We're going to get some water right now. And that should take care of itself. Oh, we only have one water left, huh? Okay. A little bit troubling, but okay. How's our food? Oh, 7.5. So I think it's about time we chow down over here, even though we're already thirsty. So that's not going to help us out too much. But at least um, our hunger's fine. And we're not thirsty just yet. I'm going to break this guy down over here, too. And... And turn, and now... Well, I'm thirsty again, of course. Let's go over here and let's make a small friction fire. Now, where is some um, small... Meat from small furry corpse? There you go. Confirm and clear. And now we also do... Roasted meat on stick. Confirm and clear. Now, by doing this, I could... Just eat this up. Thirst a little bit higher up. I, mean, I do have berries if I'm hungry and thirsty, but I'm going to hold on to these for now because their condition seems to be pretty high. I'll just eat a few then. Yeah, let's just eat five. Okay, so that's good. And we want to take this lighter with us. Now it's about to break down, 11.7. We already have a lighter anyway. And we just break this fire down as well. Don't want to leave any tracks behind. Get rid of all this shit. I don't want everybody using anything against me. Okay. Basically, my motto is, if I can use it, nobody else should be able to use it, too. It's the asshole motto, but you know what? It keeps me alive. Did we get the box out of here? Nope. <laughs> I almost left this behind. Oh, boy. People would be mad about that one, too. All right. So, it's time for us to move out of here. We need to find... Oh, water resources right here, as a matter of fact. So, let's um get water, and then we'll move out of here. So, use you up. We have at least spots for three more, so bam, bam, and bam. We're going to jump back into the Shaquille and you in the forest and go to crafting. And we'll do the same thing over here, which is boiled water. Oh, we need to make the small friction fire first, which actually requires this over here. So use you up, and let's... We need the friction, if you don't mind. Okay. And now boiled water. We have enough for two of these, right? Pretty sure it's two. Uh, yes. Sterilize, sterilize, and sterilize. So you guys go back over here. I should probably drink these now, just because our thirst is kind of low anyway. Okay, there you go. We'll hold on to one for now. And we'll keep in mind that we actually need to get some more water soon. So we're done over here. Let's continue going forward. There's a bro. He has a makeshift sack on him, too. Don't want to go after this individual? It's a possibility. Maybe he has something good on him. Let's try it out. Okay, so he's frail. He's barefoot. Wolverine black whiskey bottle as a weapon. Um, he might just be a looter, considering he's frail. He's not. He doesn't have the tough traits, so he's probably not really a big danger. But <clears throat> I want to advance towards him and see what he does. He's gonna retreat. Okay, so I can't run after him because I have to put my vehicle down. So I guess I'll do that maybe. And then we'll just kind of charge towards him. He's a looter. He wants to um, offer a ceasefire to us. I don't know, dog. What's in that sack of yours? That's what I want to know. I, I fell. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, come on. Get up. 
I, I look like really intimidating right now. I'm running after this guy and I fucking trip. Like, you know, what kind of um, message are you sending over here? And why can't I get up? Look, wait. Get up. Okay, let's try this again. No, I'm not going to accept your retreat, okay, dog? It's just not going to happen. It's not in the cards for you. I want what you have. I'm going to get close up to you, and I'm going to offer you a chance to surrender, motherfucker. That's going to be your only chance of survival here. If you don't want to accept it, well, then it's a problem for yourself. I'm going to leg trip you, number one. And um, he tripped him. He fell to the ground. Must have gained footing to continue. Okay. Oh, I also fell, too, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's my guy. Falls all the time. He's just fucking constantly drunk. Charge towards you, and oh, you ran off, huh? Don't want to leave this behind. So, no, motherfucker, you're not, you're not going to play hooky with me, okay? Don't you dare. Don't try... Oh. Motherfucker. Oh, damn it. Alright, you know what? You piece of shit. I don't have time to be wasting over here doing this with you. So, this is going to be my last attempt at this. I mean, come on, dog. Just be a man about the whole wasteland scenario here. Why am I bleeding? Excuse me, why am I fucking bleeding? What a second here. What? What is this from? When did I hurt myself? Minor cut? I have two cuts going on. I didn't even see this happen. Alright. Alright. You motherfucker. I'll let you live for now. I need to find out what happened here. Player is bleeding. Doesn't tell me why anymore. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm bleeding, because I did I trip and fucking... That would happen, I was running, I trip and I fucked myself up, or this guy hit me with that whiskey bottle. He was never that close, was he? Alright, you piece of shit. For now, I'm gonna let you move on, just because I have bigger fish to fry, which is actually taking care of myself here. Um, we need water to purify these rags, and we need to... So we need to go over here. So, I'm not gonna put any of these dirty rags on my open spots right now. Oh, I think we're out of blisters, too. We're up to five moves. Sweet. Alright, so we need to go to grab water first. So we grab water number one. And let's see, use this over here. Water and water. Okay, that's done with. Now we jump over to the forest because we're going to have to sanitize shit. Who the fuck is this guy? That was kind of weird. Um, We have no more moves left, so we end our turn here. And then we need to take care of this bleeding really fast. Okay, so now we go into crafting. And make our little small... Actually, no. That's a lie. We need some of this stuff over here. I see these red berries, but you know what? Red berries could be either be poisonous or not, so I'm not going to take the risk. And let's go over here and we'll do the small friction again. And now we need to actually purify those um, rags over here. So let's see about dropping fire. You could go away for now. You might as well stoke the fire, though, huh? Yeah, let's do stoked medium fire if we can. Okay. Now, you come over here. I need some rags, I need you, and I need some water. Preferably dirty water, doesn't really matter. So this will actually purify three clean rags. That's good. Take that. And do it again. You might as well just purify all of them now, I'm going to say. I'll keep the sterilized water you do you have, but the one that's dirty or non-sterilized will just basically use it to clean off all these rags. Okay, so now we have 10 clean rags, and since we're close to a water location, I'm going to use this clean water we do have just for clearing out our injuries here. Am I still cut over here, by the way? No, okay. No, they're over here. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to empty this out, clear out this cut with some purified water, and same deal over here. And preferably, I would like you to just kind of go and hang out. Excuse me. Just please hang out there. Thank you. I'm bleeding. <laughs> if you don't mind, motherfucker. Now, we're out of water, but that's fine because we have a water resource nearby. That's the reason why I decided to do this now. So let's jump back over here. And we will take you, you, you. Jump back over here. End our turn. Water? I mean the water. The fire should still be here. This guy's getting kind of a little bit close for comfort here. So you need to back off right now, man, because I'm a little bit busy. And the next thing we need to do is actually boil our water here. So we're looking for sterilized water times three and times three. Okay, and that should be completely sterilized. So everything is up and running fine. Not a big deal. 
I might want to drink some of this tannin tea too, just in case there's any chance of an infection, but I... Uh, yeah, I'll do it just in case. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. And everything else seems cool. Now, we have a broad spear, which is looking good. We haven't even used this yet. And campfire. Let me destroy this campfire right now. I ate all of my meat already, right? I did. So all we have is berries. We are actually out of food. So that's something to keep in mind in case we start using some, or start making some snares to catch um, squirrels and whatnot. Anything to scavenge over here? I doubt it. No. Okay. So, let's find out what this guy is all about. Maybe... Maybe he's not too bad of an issue? He's feeble and he's behind cover? Yeah. I don't see this guy being much of an issue to us. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lure him out. Alright, stranger's left arm. He's feeble, fallen, vulnerable, recovering, bleeding. Okay, five away from me. Let's actually advance towards him. He's trying to retreat now. Don't be such a pussy dog. Just hang out and fight. Let me ditch my vehicle here momentarily so we could run after him. Now, don't trip, alright? I've had enough of you tripping all the time, you drunk man. So, here he is. Let's actually land a melee attack. We got him. Severe pain. And having trouble concentrating. Let's um, charge him one more time. I feel like I've become the bad mothers now. Let's leg trip him if we can as well. Stranger fell to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Perfect. So now what we do is just melee surge him and we kill him. Now, is there, was there any value in doing that? Oh, there was, apparently. He has a small chunk of cooked meat. That's more than enough for me. Now, I hope that wasn't human meat, motherfucker. Don't be a cannibal. Don't trick me into like turning into a cannibal myself. Oh, he has this too. By the way, I wish they have another one of these that I haven't made the strap for just yet. Which we could even do that right now, as a matter of fact. Let's see, let's toss you in here. And... Medium length over here, we'll do scope with strap. 94 condition, yeah, make it happen. As a matter of fact, we have two of those, right? So let's actually even toss you over here. 65 condition, yeah, why not? Okay. There you go. So you go around my neck. Excuse me. I said go around my neck. And then you... That's <laughs> a little bit too many of them, huh? Okay. Well, we have the bare essentials here. 65. This one will probably just sell off more than likely then. Place you over here. Now string. We do want to take the string with us, so... Place you over here, and that's fine. Medium thread. Good. Shards condition. Okay, so over here we're done. We don't need that anymore. I'm sorry, dog. I had to kill you for... What did I even kill you for? I guess your scope, huh? <laughs> you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm a bad mother now, unwillingly. So, yeah, we're done here. And where are we in the map? DMC, not too far off. We made some progress. Let's call an episode here, then. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this. We a lot. We're having a pretty good time with this, at least I am. We're getting tired again, huh? That's because we're charging a lot in fights. I did equip this again, didn't I? I did. Alrighty, so we're good to go next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. And um, stick around for next episode. We'll see how far this final run of Neo Scavenger takes us. And it's been a blast so far. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. I will catch you next time.